Hello everyone, it is Erin Flitter here and I am setting up for my July reading journal setup. So I am using the new summer reading journal collection that is going to be available in my shop. And I am pairing some Simply Gilded Washi along with the normal washi that I've been using. So all those things are linked down below. Um, and then I also have my July challenge, which I will put in the blog post for that as well. So as usual, I am setting up for the month of July and this month I am doing the same type of setup with a cover page because I really like the cohesive nature of that. So I really want to um, keep that cohesiveness throughout 2023 while I am doing a reading journal. I talked about this a little bit in my previous video for my journal stack or my book stack, whatever I called it, planner stack. I'm not going to be doing a reading journal again in 2024, I don't think. It's just not the priority. One of the reasons why I started this journal, if you remember, is because I was buying so many books and not reading them. Um, and I think I've solved that problem uh, to an extent. Um, I am reading more, so <laughs> that is helpful. Um, but uh, it's been a little bit difficult um, with how life is um, prioritizing reading when, you know, the weather is so much nicer. So I'm definitely having a hard time these past couple months um, focusing on reading when I want to be outside and doing stuff. So that's why I didn't read as many books this month and why I didn't read as many books last month. So anyways. Okay. So that is my setup for July. So we have my cover page. I do a cover page every single month. Um, we have the reading challenge, which I'm doing my best. Um, but I think I talked about it in the voiceover a little bit that, um, it's been a little bit hard as the weather is nicer. I don't want to stay inside. And so, and I have a hard time reading outside, so um, it's been a little bit difficult to get to some of these books, but they're still on my list. Um, I have my books read area and my statistics, so I will go ahead and fill in the books that I intend to read for July. So for my book with a yellow cover, um, this is because I am doing a version of 75 hard. So one of the prompts each day is to read 10 pages of a self-improvement type book. Um, so I'm going to do Master Your Emotions, which is a workbook. Um, for the book set in summer slash beach, um, that is going to be the throwback list. That is also for the uh, book in a young adult category. And then my book involving travel. Um, so this is on my like actual bookshelf as uh, to be read. So um, the protagonist in this book moves from Texas to, I think it's uh, like Chicago or something like that. So I'm going to read as the Wicked Watch. Um, I use that term involving travel very broadly because um, it could be like the whole thing is traveling. You could be traveling to a beach, right? So that is um, the thought process for that one. Watch, let me go add this into my pages over here. It's so weird that we're halfway through the year. And I'm setting up for another month. It's, it's very odd. Um, and then I do have the star stickers somewhere. Um, these are available in my shop as a digital download. And it just makes it a little bit easier to fill out so I don't have to keep doing five stars. Um, I didn't look up what I, let me see if I can do that really quick that I can look up 
what I rank these books so I don't have to turn my phone off. Okay, so I gave Fellowship of the Ring four and a half stars. I've been filling this out with black, right? Okay. I honestly probably should have given it more. It's just some of it's hard to get through because of the style. It's not like what I typically read. And I was physically reading it, not listening to it with an audiobook. I think if I listened to it in an audiobook, it would have been a little bit easier for me personally. I'm actually watching Rings of Power right now. Um, it's not as good as the original, but uh, I also read Brain Hacks, which I didn't print out, and I gave that four stars. That is, again, because I was doing, I am doing 75 hard in that challenge. Um, so I started reading Brain Hacks. I finished that, and I am currently reading The Mindful Day to um, finish that up. And then I also read Outcast United. I gave that a 4.75. The only reason I didn't give that five stars is because um, the it's a I listen to this on audiobook and it's a little hard to follow timelines when you're listening to it on audiobook. I wonder if it would have been easier in printed, but the the author does jump around quite a bit of like okay so here's things about refugees and then here is the history of it which is fascinating um but then they like kind of went into a couple different stories so there's a couple different um soccer teams called the fujis aka refugees right and this book is following a couple different teams. There's like a U13, a U15, and a U17? U12? I, honestly, I can't remember. I read this at the very beginning of the month. So um, that's why I'm having a hard time remembering. Um, but it also like wraps in some of the adult refugees that play soccer. But like it barely touches on that as to why... The kids can't use the soccer field. So it's it's a little, it, it bounces around a little too much for my personal liking. Um, just because, especially in audiobook format, it's a little hard to um, keep track. So that was that. Let me go into May. So you can see that I read a book with a map, book recommended by a friend, and a book about a refugee slash immigrant. I did not read the book that is banned in a U.S. state, which is What Girls Are Made Of. Still on my list, of course, um, and I do have it downloaded to listen to. My stats for the month, I only read three books, um, but it was 862 pages. Like I talked about, it's a little difficult when the weather's nicer, when my partner is playing softball, um, you know, we're dealing with some family stuff, so it it does take a backseat to everything else going on when I'm reading, just because um, my attention has to be on a lot of other things as well. So it's unfortunate, but I'm really glad that I picked books that I liked because I got 4.42 stars out of this month, which was lovely. Um, oh, I forgot to add the dot in. So for my book stats, 66% um, or 67% um, were he, him, and 33% were she, her, um, identifying at least from what I'm able to tell. Um, origin, 33% were from South Africa, 66% were from the U.S. Um, number of pages, 33% was less than 300, 66% was between 300 and 500, 33% uh, was fiction, and then 66% was non-fiction. Um, so that's what I've got. Um, I have not were <laughs> in a monthly review. I kind of gave you my review of just like what's been going on. It's been a little bit tough to <laughs> um, make time to read. It's been a little bit tough especially because I started this challenge and so now I have to weave in um, more self-improvement type books 
um, doing that has been a little bit difficult. And of course, um, some of the other books have kind of fallen off because of that. Um, but that is basically it. So that is July. That is a review of May. Um, if you want to participate in this challenge, I do have a blog where you can like download this prompt. Um, basically, as many books as you want to satisfy the prompts, I, I'm doing, I'm satisfying it in three different books. Um, but if you could satisfy this in one book, you can do that as well. So, um, that prompt is up there. That is the challenge aspect, but I always say make this challenge what you need to make it. Um, if your thing is try to get three of the four, try to get two of the four, try to, you know, try to accomplish one of the challenges. Um, I am always down for that. So, Definitely um, make this challenge your own if you want to participate and the link to the blog will be down below. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this setup and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.